guys, welcome back to episode two. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Before we start, these are the reasons you should subscribe to me. Number one, I have amazing peripheral vision. I'm sure it was around here somewhere. I just, it's not. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Number two, I am a master equestrian. I need to sort out a, a thingy fellow. Oh! Oh! I'm in, <laughs> I'm in a hole. And number three, my balance is unbeatable. Good space up here. Once I've like cleared all the um the villager houses and no 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 oh oh <laughs> anyway, welcome to my mess. I'm currently in the process of accumulating quite the chess monster that is continuing to expand quite exponentially. Also got myself a little smelty smelting area. I have kelp um. Kelping and copper coppering. And that's about it. I also have one hell of an ugly iron farm, but that's only because it is unfinished. I decided when I started last season that I was going to challenge myself to use more copper. Because I really do love the colour when it oxidises and the gradients are just fantastic, but I've never really known how to use it. And I'd sort of figured it out last season when I built my iron farm, and now I'm trying to replicate it, even though I only have one very bad picture and I can't quite remember what I did. So... This little section here that has been waxed will be repeated in every little section all the way around. There will be some copper blocks put up the sides to look like piping. We're going to have some chimneys. So it's going to look really industrial when it's finished. It, it just looks terrible right now. And that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. So because I plan on using stone bricks and red bricks and lots of copper to sort of stick with a bit more of an industrial theme rather than like a cottage core or a fairy core or castles. Do you know what I mean? I decided that I wanted to use mud bricks for my paths. But this idea has caused me more stress than I anticipated. Let me introduce you to that stress. This right here is my automatic mud farm. I have spent two days trying to get this thing to work. Not Minecraft days, people days. It has driven me absolutely bonkers. It has absolutely bonkers. But it is working now, thank God. The farm design itself is from Jackson Wild. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. But it works. And I now have mud, which is great because I've got no idea where the nearest mangrove swamp is. I haven't found one yet. And I don't know if anybody else has found one yet either. But this led to a little bit of a tangent, you see. I was like, oh, I want mud brick paths. I need mud. I built the farm. I've got the mud. What I don't have, though, is the wheat to go with the mud to make the packed mud to make the bricks. I need to build another farm. So I started clearing out this side bit over here because this is where we're going to put it, right? Over here is going to be um, an, a villager automated wheat farm with a very simple hopper mire cart collection system underneath. Easy peasy. But then I realised I need bees. So I think from maybe about here to the back will be the platform where my beehives go. And then from about here all the way down will be the wheat farm. And I'll probably have a row or two of flowers here at this end. Because that will encourage the bees from that end to come down here for the flowers. And on the way back, they'll sprinkle their pollen all the way over my wheat. And it will increase the growth rate of the crops. So the farm works faster. And then I realised I need honeycomb because of the copper gradients I want on my builds. So that means I'm going to have to automate my hives. So hopefully when I'm done, this whole area will be a bit of a, a wheat honeycomb farm combo with probably a very messy collection system but as long as it works <laughs> right the only way we're going to do this is jumping into a time lapse because this is probably going to take me some time and this way you guys get to watch it in about 30 seconds see you on the other side <laughs> So that's about it. 
all the mechanics aren't working as they should. The bees are doing their thing. The honeycomb is being collected, which is amazing. They are very slowly fertilizing what few seeds I had in my chest, which is gonna boost the growth rate, which means I'm gonna harvest this lot quicker than I would have been able to do without them. But what I'm missing now is villagers. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> okay, so I need two, two. I need to let two out. You two will do. Here we go. And then I'm going to chuck some bread at you and some bread at you. And then I'm going to turn around. And when I turn back, I want to see some little ones, okay? I think I'm going to be here a while. <laughs> oh, we've got a baby. Well done. That's one. I kind of I kind of wanted two, but, you know. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Come on, little person. Follow me. You're going to come and live in here. Come on, little person. Come on. Nope. Oh, they are so rude. Push you. <laughs> no, no. I need you to go through the gate over here, all right? You're going to have a nice life with the bees, I promise. Just move your little bum. This way. Keep going. Nope. Come. Go. Yep. Okay. Oh, my God. It's taking forever. Move your bum. Move your butt. Keep going. We are nearly there, little one. Come on. Keep going. Well, you can have a nice life. I promise. Look. Stop looking at me like I'm taking away from your family. Come on. In. In here. In. In here. In here. In here. Keep going. Keep going. Yes, we have one! <laughs> now you're going to stay in there with the bees. Let's hope you're not allergic because you're going to have a job to do when you get older. Yes, you are. Right. Let's see if we can get another one out of Tweedledum and Tweedledee here. Have this. Do what you do. Oh, we've got another one. Come on. I've got a friend for you. This way, little one. No, don't you dare. No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. One eternity later. You go it. No. Yeah, that's it. Keep going, keep going. Look, look. The gate's open. Look, look. Yes, got you. Oh, got them. Look, I shall name them Bill and Ted and they're going to have an excellent adventure. So while Bill and Ted are growing up, I'm going to go and do some cosmetic work, shall we say, on this iron farm. I'm pretty sure I've got some honeycomb going. So I'm going to go and sort out this copper, I think. But first, I've got to put Bill and Ted's parents back. Uh, what's that? No! No! Oh, you did it again! Oh, and again! Oh, no, no, I've got four. Oh, 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 five. five! Oh no! Oh, stop it! Stop it! No, don't do that! No, no! Right, seriously, I am slightly concerned now. That even if I dispose of these three, when Bill and Ted grow up. They're going to multiply. <laughs> ah, but we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it, shall we? So the thing is, where that time lapse ended was where I finished on Friday, but it's now Monday. I didn't get the chance to record at all over the weekend, but I just couldn't leave this place alone. So here it is. This is what we have so far. And I have to say, I actually love it. I think it's come out better than the one I did in season one. I just, I love it so much. Oh my God. The copper's just beautiful. So with the outside of the iron farm finished, now I think I don't think I'm going to do anything more to that. It'll just be the surrounding area. I've put in a path all the way around. As you can see, Bill and Ted are having the best adventure. They are doing their jobs. They're dropping their wheat. My bees are doing their jobs. It's just, it's so cool. So I haven't, I haven't been in here for a bit. Last time I checked, it was doing well. So this is the 
wheat collection system. Look at it. I'm going to have more wheat than I know what to do with. I know. And over here is the honeycomb. Aren't my bees doing good? Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. See what I mean when I said it was going to be a little messy? Anyway, I think it's working fantastic. I'm really, really happy with that. So I have got some more copper blocks on the go. I need to move the sugar cane and oh, I almost forgot. I need to introduce you to Dave. He's my new friend. This is Dave, everybody. Dave, say hi. Say hi, Dave. Now, Dave here, the little mm, nugget. As you can see, he's got a very shiny diamond helmet on. That's because it's mine. It's my diamond helmet. He got a bit clever, you see. Came out of the river, killed me, and he stole my helmet. My fancy enchanted helmet. So I decided to keep him. And I built him a tank. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever loved a tank more. It's so simple. But I think because the glass is the way that it is here, it just makes it so much more effective. Oh my god, I love it. He is name tagged as well, but it doesn't seem to come up through the glass. And for some reason, sometimes you can see his helmet, and sometimes you can't. You look after that, Dave. Cost me emeralds to enchant that did. So that's Dave and his potato. I don't really know why he's having a potato, but he is. I made a very quick start on the path with the wheat I already had. It was growing off in that direction. Anyway, so this... This is what I'm thinking. We're going to use packed mud, mud bricks, and coarse dirt with stone walls. And these, I think, is going to be our primary paths here in the Copper Kingdom. I know it's not very imaginative, but I couldn't come up with anything better. And for some reason, the Copper Kingdom is stuck in my head. So unless you can honestly think of something better, I am open to suggestions. This will be the Copper Kingdom, and I absolutely love it. I don't think I've ever loved an iron farm more. I think having the uh, deep slate ores outside is a bit of a nice touch. I'm very happy. Really, really happy. But that is all I've got time for this week, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Do not forget to like, subscribe, go and check out my socials, do the thing. And I will see you guys next week with another episode. So I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>